Abraham and Sarah. This is Abram and this is Sarah and God has plans for them. He will give them a new land. He will give them a new home. But God has other plans for them too. He will change their names. He will give them a promise. I wonder, what will God promise? How will God surprise Abram and Sarah? God calls Abram, Genesis 12. God chose the people to do special things. One of those people was Abram. Abram lived in the land of Ur. The name of Abram's wife was Sari. Now Sari was barren. She had no child. Abram's family wanted to go to the land of Canaan. But when they came to Haran, they settled there instead. One day the Lord said to Abram, Leave your country and your family. Leave your father's house and go to the land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great. You will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you and I will <coughs> curse those who do not honor you. In all of you families of the earth shall be blessed. So Abram went as the Lord told him. Abram was 75 years old when he left Haran. He took Sarah his wife. He took Lot who was his brother's son. He took all the things that he owned. He took all the people who worked with them and they set out to the land of Canaan. When they came to the land of Canaan, Abram went to Shechem. At the time, the Canaanites lived there. Then the Lord appeared to Abram and he said, I will give this land to your offspring. So there Abram built an altar to the Lord. From there, Abram moved to the hill country on the east to Bethel. He pitched his tent. He built an altar to the Lord and called upon the name of the Lord. Then Abram went to where God was leading him. What did God ask Abram to do? What did God promise Abram? Look at the story picture. What is Abram doing at the altar? All right, let's pray. Can you put your hands together for me? And close your eyes and bow your heads. Dear God, you kept your promise to care for Abram. Help me to remember your promise to care for me too. Thank you for the blessings you give me through Jesus. Amen.